Okay. Um, I believe it's the 28th of November, 2018. Well, what you're seeing right there is a, uh, a wall vent uh, register that I got at the hardware store. And uh, I built a little box to bring it out away from the wall just a little. And uh, with that, where that uh, register gets its air from is the, uh, the guest bathroom. Okay. Where I. Okay. The guest bathroom. The junk bathroom that we hardly ever use. Um, what I got in here is a. Um, put a six inch air duct. I'll show you the from the kitchen which I'll show you in a minute and I ran it through the, the upper portion of the uh, guest bathroom where I'm at right now you can see where I had a little boo-boo with the wiring and uh, splice some wires back together that I cut accidentally with the saw when I was making the access hole um, well, what this thing right here is, I might have told you all this before, if it's a, uh, a fan, uh, a duct fan, that will bring air from the kitchen, warm air from the kitchen, into that bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking a few stills while we're talking. Just for show and tell later. Okay, now that I haven't finished that off yet, but that I'm giving giving myself an option to direct the warm air into the bathroom for heating purposes. Now the the kitchen where we are now. I kind of I built this little box to cover up the uh, the intake. And I made it the same color as the surrounding wood so it would look more like it not so ob obvious you know and I got a little filter in there that I fashioned out of some filter material yeah. because that front bedroom in there was always cold and so the heat the heat from that thing of course, it goes up and hangs around up near the ceiling when, it, when it's really going. And so my idea was, and still is, to take some of that hot air that hangs around in here from that wood stove over there and pipe it in to this bedroom that was always cold. You can hear I have the uh, I have the fan going a little bit. I'm going to turn. I've got a variable speed for the fan. Now you can really hear it. All right. So um, after several weeks of usage the way it is right now I've determined that it's safe to put inside the wall I won't have to worry about it like causing a fire or anything okay so that'll be coming up pretty soon I'm gonna hide hide the wiring and the switch and stuff inside the wall but anyway I haven't I haven't belabored this issue enough hopefully this this video will put it to rest. Okay, I'm out of here for now. Come back with another video sometime.